What is going on guys, it's SJ Sports and welcome back to my first ever tutorial video on UFC 4. Please let me know in the comment section below if there is anything that you would like me to try and help you guys out. I'm still learning this game all the time and I know some of the advanced fighters are still learning the game. There is so much to learn, it's been completely changed compared to UFC. So if it's your first time around here, remember to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single upload on the channel. Now, before we get into it, as you probably have noticed, I am on the PlayStation 4. Uh, big shout out to EA for hooking me up with a code so I'm able to do this video for you today. Uh, and so I don't have the trial anymore. I have got the full release on the PlayStation. So, practice mode is available like it was in UFC 3. UFC 4, go to offline mode and practice mode. This is where we want to navigate to to start off with. A lot of you guys will probably know this. Uh, some guys may not. If you're new to the game, then this is how you're going to practice mode. What we'll do is, uh, I'll just, I'll go with you and we'll go with you. Just for the sake of the video. It doesn't really matter. It's not about the fighters. It is about the Thai clinch. And it, it seems to be kind of a new meta. People have picked up the Thai clinch very, very quickly. Some people have, uh, some people haven't picked up the Thai clinch at all. Getting frustrated with it. But I'm going to teach you some basic, very basic strikes in the Thai clinch. Now it is effective, but there is a lot of things that need to be explained because the clinch has had a rework. Some of you will probably know this already that has the trial. Some of you that will have the trial may not know this, but there's a lot of people out there that don't have the trial and are waiting for the full release to be out on Friday the 14th. So to get into the clinch this time on UFC 4, you have to, I'll be doing the PlayStation um, controls if you guys on the Xbox, you can obviously, everybody knows what inputs are. R1, L1, LB, RB. You guys get the picture. So, to get into the clinch, you want to be holding R1 and then throw a jab. We're in to the clinch straight away. Again, R1 and the jab. Also, you can chain it up. This is where I mess this up. You can also start off with a jab and then... Okay, maybe not. And then get into the clinch straight away. There we go. It does take a bit of timing and mastering does that. But it is pretty straightforward. So in this position, we have got a host of strikes that we can land on our opponent. We can throw, just throw by throwing triangle. We can throw uppercuts to the face. We also press X. It does the same thing. The uppercuts to the face, pretty easy. Uppercuts to the body. Yep, you've guessed it. You hold L2 and you throw with one of the punch buttons. Square or triangle in this case y or x on the uh, xbox pad pretty straightforward now another effective one is hooks you can throw hooks from this position if you hold l1 and then throw a triangle you throw a hook l1 x exactly the same you can do it to the body also l2 l1 square hooks to the body as well which can drain your opponent's stamina it's not as fast in the head for instance hooks to the head is a lot faster than throwing hooks to the body which is which is pretty decent, pretty straightforward, very, very simple indeed. Now, also, what you could do in this position is you could throw knees to the head by pushing one of the uh, kick buttons, so X and circle. X will throw the uh, left knee, and circle will throw the right knee. Again, body, body ones, hold L2, and then just throw B and X again. Pretty, pretty easy. Now, let me just get back into the clinch again. Here we go. Now, not a lot of people know this, uh, but you can actually throw elbows in the clinch also. Now, to throw elbows, what you want to do is hold L1 and then throw it, uh, put input circle and triangle like you would like you would be throwing an uppercut in the stand-up. And there's an elbow to the head, elbow to the head. You actually can't do it to the... You can't throw elbows to the body or anything like that. And let's go back again. So again, going to the clinch, just to recap very, very briefly. R1 and jab to get yourself back into the clinch. Basic strikes, uppercuts, just the punch button. Uh, body shots, again, hold L2. Easy, knees, just throw any of the kick buttons. And then uh, knees to the body, sorry, is L2, circle and X. It depends on however you want to go about it. Now, you probably noticed there I was in the Thai clinch. So if we go again, we go back into it for the jab, get back into the clinch. Now, to get into the Thai clinch, on UFC 3, you used to be able to transition into whatever position you wanted to go into the clinch. It is not the case on UFC 4. There's no grapple hood or anything like that. It is The transition method is by throwing strikes. If we throw a knee, you will notice straight away that we have gone into the tight clinch. Now, there's something very, very important to note in here. The only strike to keep yourself in tight clinch is 
by throwing knees. That's all you can do. Throw a knee to the body, knee to the head, just like we did, we spoke about earlier on. But now watch, if I throw, say, a hook to the head, it takes out of tie clinch. Again, to go back into tie clinch, you hold the knee, or back into tie clinch, throw a hook to the body, but out of tie clinch. So it's, it's important to remember that the only strike that you can throw, that I know of at the, at the moment, in tie clinch, is the knee. Again, we'll get back into it, knee to the body, tie clinch, throw an elbow, we're out of tie clinch. Again, just to show you that again once more time so you understand it. Again, knee, I always seem to knee to the body, again, using L2 and circle on the pad, and then you can knee to the head, just by pushing this button. You can see we're staying in the tie clinch position. And that's pretty much straightforward. It just takes a bit of practice. You, obviously, when you're fighting online, your opponent will be wanting to try and get out of the clinch. And to get out of the clinch as well, is you just move away from your opponent. Let me just reset this so we're not going to we're not going near we're not going near the cage. If I just go to the seconds very, very quickly. Uh we'll just reset it there. Uh, so again, back into there, knees, get out of the clinch, just move on the left stick away from your opponent, oops, get into the clinch, move away from your opponent. If you're on the defensive side of things and your opponent is uh, wanting, he's, he's got you in the clinch and he's throwing strikes, just move away, he will land strikes, maybe one or two, it depends on how good your opponent is in the clinch as well. There's, I don't think there is a way of denying your opponent to get out of the clinch like there would be on UFC 3. Do you remember when you used to use R? R2 and the direction that the grapple was going to, to deny the position. It's not the case in UFC uh, 4. Right then, we're going to speak about doing some takedowns in the clinch as well. It's very, very effective. So we'll get, oops, we'll get into the clinch. And then for a takedown, all you want to be doing is holding R1 and X. It does a hip toss to get you into that uh, side saddle position. Again, if it comes back up again, we'll get into the clinch. And we can go R1 and then we can do, no, wrong, wrong button command. R1 and then X, hold X down and down you go into the side saddle position. I think there is another way of doing it as well when the opponent gets up. I'll just practice it, show you it. Hold L2 and then hold Y, which will do a double leg takedown as well, which is pretty effective. So you have to hold the button because if you don't hold the button, the triangle button, then what happens is it initiates the strike like I did at the earlier start of the video. Again, we'll just go into this and then for a uh, Single leg was it? R1 and circle. For a single leg, it trips him and he can stay stood up. So, anyway, boys, we're going to wrap up today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all your support and stuff that's gone on the channel since UFC 4 has been out. Hopefully, these videos will help you out. I do plan on having an online video uh, for you guys very, very soon. I'll probably get that recorded today also. Get this video edited, rendered, uploaded, ready for you guys to enjoy. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you, you want to know. If I know it, I will upload it. But we'll just learn pretty much the basic strikes and basic takedowns from the clinch because if you haven't had the game you've not played the game before and you go into the clinch it's quite daunting maybe we could do it on the defense of the clinch on the next episode or the next video we'll see i do need to work on my clinch as well um, but i'm still learning everybody's still learning thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on another video very very soon and goodbye